Hello ladies, welcome to my channel. Today I have uh, a project. I cannot say um, who exactly and where I saw it. I think I saw it on Pinterest and this was a little while back and I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. And I'm going to try to get a little bit closer here so you can see some of the things that I've used. However, um, I made this beautiful um, can and I did a topper for it. Let me see if I can get a better lighting if I reduce the light. I just want to show you what I did with it. Um, I did the little flaps here. It has some lace and pearls and I added a bow and I decorated it uh, with Prima apricot paper and I did some race uh, elements here fussy cutting and as you can see all the flowers and I put some lace in here the lighting is not the best um, trying to hold this steady. <laughs> in the inside I did use um, the sander block and I made sure before I glued everything um, I took the coconut milk can and I went ahead and I sanded all the outside to create some grooves so then that way uh, the chalk paint would adhere. I did it on the bottom and I slide it in here. I did push it in there and I did the same thing in the inside since I was going to use chalk paint. Um, this one to match it is sort of kind of pink. I've had it for quite some time and then after I applied uh, first I applied the crackle. Uh, this is from Folk Art and um, it's just medium crackle uh, however it wasn't the best quality for whatever reason it didn't crackle as much I don't know if there's any other out there that uh, works better if somebody has any ideas and can help me that would be fantastic I did the same thing with the lid I have a special opener that opens the can from the outside instead of from the inside part in and that helped me to make this awesome beautiful um, I don't know if you can see it lid and I did add a little bit of lace for a lip so then that way it can be taken off the can and I decorate it with the Prima apricot paper um, the back of it so I did two circles because inside here I did add the paper I did cut them at two and three quarters because that is the uh, leaving a little line so I can put some pearls underneath there everything is a sort of kind of raised on pop uh, dots that I have so I can make different levels and I use some die cuts um, so this is what it looks like I hope you can get a better picture um, and as you can see I lifted it from the center so that way you can also see the pearls and the paper underneath uh, the circle I did use a small doily die underneath here so you can hold the cluster that I made on top of the can. Uh, this I'm making it just to put some trinkets, uh, maybe some lace to be gifted to somebody or you can press it down because of the paint and the crackle it gives it a little holding to stay steady and whenever you're ready to open it and pull out your trinkets you can remove the lid but this is I made it three-dimensional as you can see I added flowers I added pearls 
I'm trying to see if you can see if I hold it steady maybe you can see try my camera I'm sorry you can see that I added pearls in the bottom and it also has the lace and the pearls all the way around I have this kind of pearls I believe I got this from Nettie's Lace uh, this dangle pearls and the paper is just absolutely beautiful um, here I fussy cut some of the uh, flowers and I did fold them a little so they can be rounded and as you can see they're lifted on pop-up dots and I did the same thing on the other side of the can right over here this one comes all the way around there and it's also lifted and then we go to the front I did add a bow I'm trying to get get it as steady as possible so that way the camera can pick it up and this is my beautiful can in the inside uh, like I said I use the crackle first and then I use the chalk paint uh, it's sort of kind of like in an old-fashioned pink and then I let it sit to dry on its own and this can that I am using from the coconut milk it has a beautiful design already on there and if we're going to use this can and probably use rice paper I'm pretty sure that all these little indents that are here uh, that you can see in the inside you can go ahead and press your rice paper and then sort of kind of distress it if you want to make a different complete uh, look that's why I chose this coconut milk this is the milk I drink I have stomach issues and this is what I put on everything so um, I would collect cans and my hubby would see them and he would toss them and yesterday after he saw what I had made with it um, this morning when he got my milk ready he saved me the cans which is kind of interesting I did use I'm gonna lay this here and maybe you can appreciate it a little bit better I'm gonna take the lid and put it on the side I used um, a brush you know to go ahead and put the crackle after I had sanded the can and uh, then once that was done then I waited a few minutes and I'm not sure if that's part of the problem as to why it didn't crackle then I applied with another brush uh, the crackle um, the chalk paint and I let it dry it dried it took about an hour or hour and a half for it to dry and then uh, in the meantime I had another can and I went ahead and I cut a strip of paper to cover the can since I colored uh, the outside to the rim and I did the same thing down here and underneath here uh, I did it in sections um, I cut a paper to go all the way around the can now keeping in mind that at this point I was going to create this little lapel and I was going to curl that so I made sure that my paper wrapped around the complete can I did miss it a little bit and if I wouldn't have shown it to you you wouldn't have seen it uh, but the same ribbon that I use on the lip here I put it in the center from the from where I started to curl it uh, I glued it onto the can along with this with this lace and then I closed um, the paper around it now I did not use glitter glue most of it is done uh, with the fabric tech glue and in some areas I went ahead and I added a little bit of my glitter glue uh, just for support just so I would feel comfortable um, all of my pearls and my flowers were attached with the fabric tack and um, 
I did the bottom just as well with the same paper. The paper that I used is uh, the paper pad from Prima and uh, this one is the apricot honey and I try to get flowers that they were sort of kind of like apricot color but I also wanted to bring out the pink uh, in the colors and this type of paper has foiling in, in the uh, rose gold that's why I chose a pink bow but in reality you can put any kind and this flower is sort of kind of pinkish but it has a lighter peach uh, there let me try to see if I can hold it steady these are in off-white to match somewhat the paper and I found this in my stash it's like a little vine and they're sort of kind of peachy so I added it in there so you know look through your flowers and see what you can find this one I had there um, on the lid however I did use die cuts uh, like I said I use a small doily and then underneath the doily there are the pearls I lifted the doily from uh, the lid with pop-up um, the heaviest that I had this is a die cut that it comes in threes and I went ahead and I cut the complete one and then I cut it into three parts because I wanted to elevate it in an angle I like to do things that have different levels uh, this one is another die cut and I also pop that one up as you can see you can see it has multiple levels of pop-ups and again I use the same rose uh, flower that I had in the front and this one right here uh, it is in the can but what I did was I have um, an acrylic marker that is rose gold and I did sort of kind of like a trimming in the center as you can see and I used some pearl accents that I had and some baby breath dry flowers that I had uh, I think it came out really beautiful and putting the Prima paper in the bottom and then putting the pearls gave it a really nice accent so when you're looking at it you can either raise it a little bit more I tried to add a little bit of green mesh in the back so you can give it some color and I hope maybe I can hold it steady enough that maybe you ladies can appreciate the can a little bit more I'm going to bring move this out of the way so you can appreciate the design on the can I'm hoping that my camera focuses more um, it's a little bar a little can just to put trinkets or lace to give away to somebody that likes to craft or uh, my cousin looked at it and she said oh this would be a great uh, makeup brush holder and she probably may not use the lid uh, she can use it for something else if she wants to maybe um, if she's created it enough she can put it on a poster board or add it to um, a gift box so let me try to see if I do this with the camera if I can focus a little bit better um, it's not really working I have too much light from the computer but uh, if I bring it a little bit closer you probably can see all the different layers and the accent on the Prima paper that I chose to call cut these fringes and they are lifted in an angle as you can see here so I hope you enjoy uh, this craft that I'm bringing you I did see it in Pinterest like I said a long long time ago and also um, that uh, rose gold marker I did some edging on here coming all the way down 
so I really really love the way my can came out my decorated can you can also do these with uh, jars and it's a beautiful um, thing that you can do if you like to fussy cut I did fussy cut a uh, butterfly and I put it on there I have another one somewhere around here but this paper is just absolutely gorgeous uh, it has some um, rose gold running through it foil and it's just beautiful so this is my can I hope you enjoy what you're seeing and uh, Come back and visit me for more crafting ideas that I will continue to share in the group. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week. And remember, all I used was a can of coconut milk and the lid with a sanding block to get us started. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.